Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. This is lesson four, solving a linear equation. So keep in mind, we are going to be using sad map, which means if we cross an equal sign, we use the inverse operations. Before that, we need to combine like terms. Look for parentheses and look for division. So that's the first thing we always look for. And in number one, it says for each problem, show your work and check that your solution is correct. One, solve the linear equation. And we have this. It says state the property that justifies your first step and why you chose it. Well, I look and I see that I have X's. Multiple X's on one side. I also have constants on the same side the equal sign so I circled all of my like terms and it's all addition so I have x plus x plus x plus x which is 4x and then I have 2 plus 4 which is 6 plus 6 is 12 so I have 4x plus 12 equals negative 28 so the first step I did was combine like terms why did I do that because if I didn't I'd have to subtract 6 over here then subtract 4 then subtract 2, and then I'd have x plus x plus x plus x equal, equals whatever that is, and I'd have to combine and so forth. So it's just easier to combine everything first, and then we refer to sad map. I have multiplication, I have addition, multiplication, addition is first in sad map, so we're going to add first. The inverse of addition is subtraction. Subtract 12 from both sides, and we get 4x. 12 minus 12 is 0 equals negative 28 minus 12 is negative 40. Then we have multiplication. The inverse of multiplication is division. So I divide both sides by 4. These 4s cancel. And I get x, x equals a negative divided by a positive is negative. 40 divided by 4, 10. So I get x equals negative 10. State the property just in your first step and why you chose it. I did, and that, but it also says check that your solution is correct. So now I'm going to take the original equation, x plus x plus 2 plus x plus 4 plus x plus 6 equals negative 28. I'm now going to substitute in a negative 10 for every x I see. So there's negative 10 plus negative 10. The constant stay constant plus 2 variable of negative x so that's going to be plus a negative 10 plus 4 another variable plus negative 10 plus 6 equals negative 28 now we have all addition substitution all in place and PEMDAS, since we're combining like terms on one side, doing work on one side of an equal sign is PEMDAS. Moving something to the other side is SADMAP. I'm going to do PEMDAS, which says to add, subtract first. Because there's no multiplication or division, so I'm going to add and subtract. And then when we have just addition and subtraction, we work left to right. So negative 10 plus a negative 10 is negative 20. Plus 2 plus a negative 10 plus 4 plus a negative 10 plus 6 equals tw negative 28. Okay, negative 20 plus 2 is negative 18. And then plus a negative 10 is minus 10. Plus 4 plus a negative 10 is minus 10 plus 6 equals negative 28. If I just do one thing first, the first two at a time, negative 18 minus 10 is negative 28 plus 4 minus 10 plus 6 equals negative 28. Negative 28 plus 4 is negative 24. Minus 10 plus 6 equals negative 28. Negative 24 minus 10 is negative 34. Plus 6 equals negative 28. And negative 34 plus 6 is negative 28. And they are equal. They checked. Now, it's not necessary to do all of this. I was just showing you that's one way to do it so we don't confuse things. But I could also add them up in my head as I go. Okay, number 2. We have an equation 2 times the quantity 3x plus 2 equals 2x minus 1. Again, we're going to do sad map, but we first have to combine like terms, which we have over here. 
forgot my plus x, and then over here we have the distributive property. We want to get rid of parentheses. So I'm going to get rid of the parentheses first. So 2 times 3x is 6x. Plus 2 times 2, which is 4, equals, so while I'm at it, I am going to combine my like terms. I have a 2x plus an x, which is 3x. And then I have that minus 1 sitting there. That's all by itself. So now we're down to this. I always like to move the smaller variable so I don't end up with a negative exponent, or negative variable, I mean. And I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. 6x minus 3x is 3x plus 4 equals 0 minus 1, which is negative 1. Now we're doing sad map, and we're going to do the opposite of addition, which is subtraction. And those cancel, and I get 3x equals negative 5. Divide by 3, divide by 3, and we get x equals negative 5 thirds. Okay, now I need to check it. 2 times 3x plus 2 should be equal to 2x minus 1 plus x. 2 times 3, my x is negative 5 thirds. Do not convert that to a decimal. Plus 2 equals 2 times negative 5 thirds minus 1 plus another negative 5 thirds. So the first thing I'm going to do to simplify this is my parentheses. So I'm going to multiply this times this. So this 2 stays here. These 3's cancel, and I get negative 5 plus 2 equals 2 times negative 5 is negative 10 over 3 minus, and I don't want this 1 here because of fractions. We want a common denominator. And anything divided by itself is 1. So 3 divided by 3 will give me 1. Plus, and let's not do plus and negative. Let's now just get rid of that double sign and say minus 5 thirds. Now I'm going to combine like terms inside. 2, negative 5 plus 2 is negative 3 equals, and negative 10 thirds minus 3 thirds is negative 13 thirds minus 5 thirds. And 2 times a negative 3 is negative 6. And negative 13 minus 5 is negative 18 thirds. And therefore, negative 6 equals negative 6. Number 3. We have x minus 9 equals 3 fifths x. So the first thing I'm going to do is I need to move all my x's to one side. I cannot subtract a fraction from a whole number, so I'm going to change this 1x, there's really a 1 here, to 5 fifths x. So the first thing I'm going to do is move this 3 fifths x by subtracting it over to this side. So then I get 3 fifths x minus 3 fifths x equals 0. 5 fifths minus 3 fifths is 2 fifths x. Bring down the minus 9. Okay, so I got all my x's, all my variables on one side of the equal, equal sign. Now I'm going to use sad map, and I have multiplication, and I have subtraction. The inverse of subtraction is addition, so I add 9. So I get 2 fifths x equals 9. nine negative 9 plus 9 is 0. 0 plus 9 is 9. To get rid of a fraction, I multiply by its reciprocal. Let me use parentheses here. And what I do to one side, I must do to the other. These 5's cancel, these 2's cancel, and I get x equals 9 times 5 is 45 over 2, or 22.5, but I prefer fractions. 45 halves. Now I'm going to check that. So I'll rewrite the equation. Substitute in my givens. So my x is 45 halves minus 9. And I'm going to make that 18 halves by multiplying both top and bottom by 2. So I get a common denominator. Equals 3 fifths times 45 halves. 
Okay, so this 2 will make this 18 a 9. I'm sorry, that's subtraction. It's subtraction. 45 minus 18 is 35, 25, 27 over 2. 45 minus 18 is 27 divided by 2 equals, here we have multiplication and I can cancel. 45 divided by 5 is 9, and 9 times 3 is 27, and I still have that 2 in the denominator. 27 halves equals 27 halves is true. Okay, number 4. Solve the linear equation. 29 minus 3x equals 5x plus 5. I have an x on one side, I have an x on the other. I don't have any fractions or parentheses, so I'm just going to move my x's to one side. I like moving the smaller ones. Negative 3 is less than 5, so I'm going to add 3x to both sides. 29, 0, so it's just 29, equals 8x plus 5. Sad map. I have multiplication. I have addition. The inverse of addition is subtraction. Subtract 5 from both sides. 29 minus 5 is 24. And I get 8x on this side. The 5s cancel. Inverse of multiplications division. Divide both sides by 8. x equals 3. Check it. 29 minus 3x equals 5x plus 5. 29 minus 3 times my x equals 5 times my x plus 5. 29 minus 9 equals 15 plus 5. 20 equals 20. Okay, moving right along. Number 5. Rewrite the problem. One third x minus five plus one seventy one equals x. And then over here I'm going to check it, so I'll just write it now. One third x minus five plus one hundred and seventy one equals x. This is where I'm going to check. Okay, so now I'm looking at this. I have an x on this side. I have x's on this side. The first thing I'm going to do is change that x. 2, 1x to 3 thirds x. 3 thirds is 1, and I'm going, I have a third over here. I need common denominators because I'm going to subtract this 1 third x from over here, and I have to subtract 1 third x from over here. This is 0 minus 5 plus 171 equals 3 thirds minus 1 third is 2 thirds x. Combine like terms here, and negative 5 plus 171 is 166 equals 2 over 3x. To get rid of a fraction, we need to multiply the both sides by the reciprocal, 3 halves and 3 halves. 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 2 is 6, 6 over 6 is 1x. This 2 will make this 166, 83. 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 8 is 24. So I got 249 for my x. So now I'm going to check this by plugging in 249 for my x's. Okay, so here's an x, there's 249. Here's an x, there's 249. 3 goes into 24 8 times, 3 goes into 9 3 times. This reduces to 83 minus 5 plus 171 equals 249. Work left to right, 83 minus 5 is 78 plus 171 equals 249. 8 plus 1 is 9, 7 plus 7 is 14, carry the 1, and I get 249 equals 249, they check. And that is the end of lesson 4. Review the lesson summary, and go do your problem set. set.